I'm Dan Prudpaul, founder and president of Successful Consultant Training. We're a new e-learning firm dedicated to helping people build successful businesses, focusing on the consulting business. Our signature offering, a comprehensive coaching and training program, will be announced soon. This program will cover every aspect of starting and building a successful consulting practice. In the meantime, subscribe to our YouTube channel and enjoy the free training videos we post here. Also, we'll announce our training programs here as well. Over my 35 plus years in consulting, I collected the best practices I learned and used successfully. I'd like to share those best practices with you. You can become an independent consultant by implementing the 20 steps we describe in this video. For the sake of argument, let's assume you've decided to become an independent consultant and work out of your home. You're seeking the freedom and growth potential this career offers you. This slide shows 20 steps you should take before hanging your shingle. Following this path will optimize your success. We broke the steps into four overall subjects. The offering, the market, the customer, and the business plan. We'll briefly discuss each topic. The first topic is the offering. If you haven't already done so, you need to select a topic. You must be very enthusiastic about this topic. Ideally, you have expertise in the area, but that's not really required. You can learn about a new topic by accessing information on the internet. It is really not that difficult. Then you can acquire the expertise you need or define the area of expertise within the topic area that you've selected. For example, suppose you've selected financial advice. Will you advise retirees how to invest their money or young people oriented towards higher risk investments? You'll want to position yourself as an expert in one area to start. Then define your offering. What is the service? How is it performed? What results are expected? Next, how will this service help your customers? And finally, how will you deliver the service for your reports or presentations? In summary, you must be very clear about what your offering is. If you can't explain it in detail, your prospect won't understand it. Your content or your offering must be congruent with the market that you're pursuing. Who is your intended audience? Are they young? Are they old? What are their interests? Does gender matter? What are their professions? What is your customer's biggest problem? What are they most frustrated with? And how will you solve this problem? So do your research. Determine if your market is big enough to be successful. Do a Google search with keywords. If you get a very large number of searches, you're in great shape. And don't worry if there's many others offering a similar service. That's a good thing. And finally, prepare your marketing plan. How will you fill your sales funnel and win customers? The key is to design your offering in a way that is unique in the market. You are a unique individual, so put your unique spin on your offering. And next, you must understand your customer, not just the company, but the person. What are the needs of your prospect? Look at not just the obvious stated needs, but also the hidden or unstated needs. In other words, what is your prospect's frustration or concern? What do they want from your project? Recognition? Manage risk? Save money? Based upon their needs, develop your marketing pitch. What value will you provide? What benefits will the prospect gain from your service? Prepare a proposal template so you're ready to write a proposal when you have your first opportunity. Develop an approach on how you'll manage the project for success. And finally, develop your plan on how to keep your customers. How will you build the relationship to position yourself for the next opportunity? And the last step is prepare your business plan. What are your goals for the next year or two? Will you work at home? What equipment and communications will you need? How much cash will you have on hand? How long can you stay in business before revenues ramp up? Will you operate as a sole proprietorship, a partnership, an LLC? And finally, develop your launch procedure. Carefully map out your first month so you'll work very efficiently and effectively and get off to a great start. And remember, nothing happens until you take action. This is the key reason why people don't reach their dreams. They just don't pull the trigger. Subscribe to our SCT channel. We post valuable training on this site that will be helpful for both existing consultants who want to improve their results as well as those of you who aspire to change your career path 
become a consultant, and monetize your skills and knowledge. And look for the launch of our coaching program coming this spring. Oh, and also look for our Consultant in a Book, Unlock Your Potential and Basic Training Manual for Consultants, showing up on Amazon in about a month from now in the spring. And lastly, subscribe to our channel now. You can just click on the button on the slide or subscribe below this video. Opt in at our website, www.successfulconsultanttraining.com and get more free training. Ask me any questions about consulting you wish and get a prompt answer. Dan at SuccessfulConsultantTraining.com Don't be bashful.